Okay. Well, hello, welcome to iRacing. Here we are. Right side. In the shot. Fucking hell! Jesus Christ! Yellow flag. Who is that? Good grief! Aaron Humphrey. Right. Let's start again, shall we? Welcome to iRacing. Ben Hur edition. It's shiny new shakedown. Series week 13, shiny new shakedown is for the new cars and the new track. New cars being this one, the Ferrari 488 GT3 Evo, the Porsche 911 GT3 Cup car, otherwise known as the. He's such an arsehole. Look at him. Another one dead. Unbelievable. Aaron Humphreys, you are the absolute worst of the worst. This is why people don't drive week 13. Anyway, the other car in this series is the Porsche, the new Porsche 992 Cup car. We did a race in that and got killed by Chris Russo, who's in front of me. Hello, Chris. Remember me? Now, this is an unofficial series, so... You don't, it doesn't affect your eye rating. Oh, come on, Chris. You should know the track by now. And also, you can't report people because it's a complete waste of your time. Anyway, let's try and, let's try and beat Chris, shall we? Because Chris isn't that familiar with the track. He absolutely murdered me in cold blood. In the Porsche. I doubt Chris is somebody who's practiced much on this track to get the layout, find the line. Oh, come on! What is that? Snaking out before turning in? No, dude. No, 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 dude. Oh, my word. So this is just a 12 minute race, can you believe that? A 12 minute race, and I've been killed so many times. Suck on it, Chris. Dude. Still there. Clear on the left. Get a car on your right. Clear on the right. Such an ass, really. He's on Twitch. I know what his Twitch name is because he keeps publishing it in the text. So I'm going to go on Twitch and have a look and see exactly what he's made of. Because guys at grade A certified 24 karat gold idiot.
just keep an eye on my mirrors in case he does a full missile mode launch, don't think he will. Anyway, let's talk about this nice car for a bit. I got about five minutes to talk about the uh, Porsche in the last race before Chris killed me by turning me into a turtle. Aaron Hunt, Aaron has said sorry to someone. Really? Aaron, that button should be worn out by now. But let's talk about the new Ferrari. Why is it different to the old Ferrari? Well, it's... Uh, it's a slightly longer wheelbase at the start, so it has a few um, improved handling characteristics. It has less understeer than the last one, so that I can feel so far. Definitely less understeer. Hungaro Ring's a very easy track, by the way. Um, drive it, if you've got it on a Seto Corsa Competizione, drive it in exactly the same way. So, uh, yeah, you know, just drive it the same way. Um, the track is very nice. But this car, yeah, it's quite nice. It's got a slightly different engine note to it. It drives pretty much the same way as the old Ferrari. But this is the new one. So, if you like the old Ferrari and you want to do the races this year, you've got to get this one. Simple as that. This, I'm really happy. There's a, something I'm happy about is they've made that chicane flat. Something I'm not happy about is there's a telegraph pole on the left, or there should be, by that left turn, which is a braking marker, and it's not there. Yeah, drive this exactly the same way as the old Hungaro ring. In fact, there's a there's a braking marker missing for T1 on this that you used to use on ACC. But there is a, a, a funny change in the colour of the um, tarmac, which is as good. So anyway, yes, bombing down here. Look for the line and a change in tarmac there. Should be much closer to that, but I was too busy talking to pay attention. Anyway, keep that um, corner very close. Just by the marshal's post, turning in, keeping to the left here because of the long lazy right here. Now, despite them being very different cars, they operate in different um, universes. They're very close in terms of lap time on the track, the new Porsche and the new Ferrari, so very good. Anyway, round here, nice to the inside. We've got the chicane coming up on the left just before the um, the guard's hut there. Coming down, get as much as you can across both of those without off-tracking like I've just done. But it should be a, a brake marker on the left there, but it's gone, so keeping low third or high second coming round here. Opening up now, getting up to fourth. Hugging the inside, just easing off a bit. Turning in as you start on the second curb. As soon as this curb on the right ends, foot to the floor. Stay to the left. Just before the marshal's post on the left here. Braking again, a bit late for me. Anyway, there's a shadow about here. That'll do by the marshal's post. We'll break there, hug this to the inside. Pit entries on the right. There's a line by the marshal's post just here, so that's where you're turning in for this corner. There's a lot of... This track is it's quite a nice track. I, I like it. It's fairly... It's a good length. Um, 145 or thereabouts. Um, it's got a lot of hairpins. A lot of mini hairpins. Right, so there we go. It's a much better first corner. Accelerating up, coming off the kerb on the left to go right under the Rolex bridge. Turning in at the Marshal's heart. There's a puff of smoke there. Is that somebody dead? No. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Looks like we're going to make it to the end of this race. Well, what a miracle. Aaron Humphrey and Chris Rousseau tried their best. 
cut as much of that as you can. I probably won't be racing week 13 this week for obvious reasons. There we go, much better. Too shallow with that. I do like the little fluttering sound that we've now got in the Ferrari. A nice little turbo flutter. Two guys in front in the Porsches are battling, so you never know. We might see something happen there. In the first race I did the Porsches, Porsche drivers just couldn't help but take each other out. Maybe these two are going to do the same. Is the Ferrari having trouble? They were lapsed down, I think, so we're not going to gain anything by going past them. This is a really nice car to drive. If you like the old Ferrari, you'll love this Ferrari. It's exactly the same, more the uh, more the same. But it is a lot less understeery. I mean, this is a baseline setup. I haven't even changed the, the brake bias for this. It starts at about 54. Haven't need to, but it just turns in so nicely. So, if you bought the Ferrari in the last couple of months, maybe even in the last couple of seasons, it's possible that iRacing have given you a credit to the value of the car so that you can rebuy this one should you want to. You might want to buy the Porsche instead, that's fine. No one's stopping you. But um, but yeah, I think this is a really nice car. I'll probably use it quite a bit this season. Really like it. Inside it's no different really to the old one. Hasn't got your name on the windscreen like the Porsche does. Which is a shame, but there you go. It is what it is. So, there we go. Um, we started fourth. We're finishing sixth in class. Chris Russo, you're another another race where you proved yourself to be a complete incompetent idiot and the guy who's in front I can't even remember his name now P5, okay, P5 fair enough that'll do um, the guy who's in front Aaron I think it was um, really just get in the bin buddy because you are hopeless anyway um, thanks for watching then and I will see you for the next one bye now